Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Costello X by Black Sheep Baggers. Let's go ahead and dive in, break this bag down. Design-wise, when they had the pre-release, they had two different designs available. I, ju I grabbed these because of the colors. I just like, I typically like a more colorful bag. Uh, this really fits with kind of the Black Sheep theme they got going through their bags. I, I, I like it. I have no issues with it. I don't know what options they'll have available when they do the actual release here soon, so I'm not sure about that. I like the design. I think Black Sheep does a pretty good job of the designs. I have no issues with the designs they have out there and all, all their other bags. They're doing a pretty phenomenal job. These bags are ACL Pro Stamp for 2023. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, okay, one little rant I've got here real quick I wanna jump on, and that's the name of the bag, Costello X. I hate that name. I think it's a lazy name. I wish Black Sheep had come with a different name. And, and hear me out on this, right? Ultra does this with with their bags, and I've, I've ran it on that. I don't like it. The, the problem I have is, when I think of Costello X, I think of a Costello with maybe a different template, a different fill, something minor that's been changed. Not a Costello that has a completely different material. Because in all honesty, this fast side is the same fast side they use on the Costello, they use on the Blackwater, they use on the OG2s. Like, it's, it's there's nothing, this doesn't have anything more in common with the Costello than it does with the other bags. Now, the OG2, they did that. They had the OG, they changed the carpet and called it an OG2. That is not as big a deal because they stopped making the OG and the OG2 became that bag so I'm, I'm more okay with that the problem with this is they're still going to make the costello and now you have a costello x and what really where the problem's going to come in is people sometimes ask me they always ask me what bags do i throw i don't know how to run i'm sorry i don't know what bag to, to jump into and i always say go to a local league go to a blind draw go somewhere where you can throw other people's bags to see what you like and some ways they're and someone who's gonna pick this bag up and throw it and go wow i like this and they're gonna see black sheet baggers and they're gonna see costello the x just kind of blends in and they're gonna go online and order some costellos and you know what <laughs> They're going to get a set of Costellos, not a set of Costello X's, and they're not going to be happy. And I think Black Sheep is setting themselves up for some headaches and for some problems, for some upset people. And I just don't like it. Like, like it's it just, it's a lazy name. Come out with a new name that I just, I, I think they can do better. I wish they had changed the name on that. And that's, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that. Let's go in. Let's jump into the bag. And that's what you're here for. Material wise. This slow side is that uh, clone carpet, that variant carpet. It is not the Viper R carpet. It is that clone carpet, what I call the clone carpet. Same carpet that you find on the B3 Coyote, the Swag Bags Kaboom, X Level Lights Out, the Southwest Hefe. Um, there's quite, a, there's a ton of bags out there. I got a list going on that uses material. It's a wonderful material. I really like this. Five speed, it's pretty consistent five. It plays a five in most conditions. Uh, you know, fast, normal, even to those kind of damp, wet, sticky, humid board conditions. It still moves pretty good. So five speed on the slow side on this. Fast side, this is the game changer fast side. It's the same fast side that Black Sheep uses on the Costello. It's the same one using the Blackwater, same one using the OG2, as I mentioned. It's that eight speed, maybe a faster eight, eight and a half speed material. Wonderful fast side material. It, it, it pushes through anything, slides on the board in most conditions. So you're looking at a five slow side, eight, eight and a half on the fast side here. The template, this is basically the same template that you find on the Costello. It's it's a medium to large template. You know, it, it feel, I think it, it it's probably more of a medium template, but I feel like it's a large template because it's a pretty full bag. So it, it's, it's got a pretty decent amount of fill in there. So there, there's some flop. There's not a lot of flop here. Now, I, I'm not sure if it has more fill than, say, the Costello has. The difference is the Costello slow side is a much thinner, much more pliable material. This, you've got that carpet, and I'm assuming there's some kind of backing or something to this as well, which this material is just thicker, so you're not going to get quite as much flop on this bag as you would a Costello. So it just feels a little bit fuller. So you've got a fairly full, kind of medium to large template bag. The fill in here is that flat disc fill that Black Sheep uses. I, I don't think there's any kind of mix in here. It feels like the same fill that, that you have in the in in the you know the Black Waters, the OG2s, the Costellos. It's the same fill that Black Sheep. I think they're pretty consistent, the same fill across the board. So you have that flat disc fill in this bag, which is good. Gives you that great hand feel to it. Helps the bag land soft. Uh, very little kick. Runs straight and true up the board. It's it's a, it's a feel that most people are starting to like. A lot of companies are going to. So now we'll jump into playability here. And this is a bag, you know, this material, I've talked a ton about, about how versatile this material is. And that's, that's why I like it so much as you can do so much with it. For me, the, and I'm just going to, I probably should have mentioned earlier, but the day I went on through it, so I, I just got these bags in. They had a pre-release. I, I was lucky enough to get a set. I just got them in. I'm trying to get this review out to you before they release. So I had to rush them a little bit. The day I went to throw wasn't the best day. It was a sunny day. It was cold and there was a nice little wind. There's a pretty good kind of cross breeze across the, the the court there. So I was trying to throw in between the wind gusts. I couldn't really do a lot of shot shaping. I couldn't throw a lot of cuts with it because anytime I'd put a tilt in the bag, the wind would just catch it and just it almost look like a slider. I would throw it in the bag, would just kind of dive right off to the side. It was it was awful. And I wasn't able to throw as many blockers as I normally would because of the wind. I was having to throw a little bit harder during the wind to keep the bag flat and running straight. 
in between when the gusts would die down, I could play a little more of a blocker game and give you a little bit of, of what's going on there. But I, I know how this material of play, so I, you know, I don't feel like I'm giving you... I feel like I can review this bag confidently, even though I wasn't able to really fully throw it out like I should. So anyway, just wanted to make that aware of that. But this is a definitely a versatile material. You can do a lot with it. You can run bags in the hole. It's very hole-friendly. Both sides extremely hole-friendly. You can run bags in the hole, put your four bags in, out to your opponent. You can also take this slow side and you can slow it down and play a blocker game. And this bag, being a fuller bag, makes an awesome blocker. Like, it, it takes up a ton of space on the board, really blocks the hole, makes it very easy to collect, too. Because it's such a full bag, you just come in, clip a corner, and you take them in. You don't have to get crazy and go after it. So, so you can, you know, by just having to clip the corners, I mentioned all the time before about how aggressive you can get. You know, take the center line of that, of that hole, and because it's so collectible, you can go more over on your opponent's side, just leave a sliver of a corner on your side, so that when you come to collect, throw your battery down the middle, catch it, and drag it in. You can get really aggressive with it. Now, one thing I will say, and one thing I noticed with this bag, because it's fuller and because it's a little bigger, it does have a tendency to want to bunch and clog up in the hole. I had, I threw this bag, but before I turned the camera on, you know, I, I went out through the bag probably for a couple hours just to really get it broken and get a feel for it. Flipped the camera on, started throwing it. And over the course of like the, you know, three hours of throwing, I had the bag, I had these bags clog the hole like four times, which is quite a bit. First couple times, I didn't think anything of it. I do think, I, I think I caught one or two of them on camera so I can show you in here. I hope I did. It just it, it, it always happened when there was two bags. I had two bags up there, and I wanted to collect both of them. And I would throw my third bag, you know, kind of down the middle, and it would come and it would hit. And the bags would all just kind of bunch up and wad up and just hit. And they're just too full for them to drop in, and they would just sit there. Now, there's nothing wrong with clogging the hole if you're ahead in the round. Like, if I've got a bag in the hole, if I've got first bag, I've got a bag in the hole, and maybe, you know, one on the board, and, and, and my opponent's got, you know, two on the board and none in the hole. And now, listen, I want to clog the, the hole up to prevent them from getting bags in the hole and guarantee myself rounds. And especially if I clog them up good, they may descend through an airmail, hit, bounce off, and now I can, you know, get even more points. So I'm okay with bags clogging the hole. The, the downside comes in when you're not ahead or you're behind and you're trying to collect multiple bags. You've got to be really careful about that with this bag because it is so big and full. It doesn't. It doesn't fold up like you would get on a, on a, on a flopper, like, like you would on a Costello. A Costello will fold up more and slink in. You can't get that full in this bag because it is a fuller bag. It just isn't going to fold up. The materials just won't do that. So just be aware of that the, the whole clogging is there. It's happening a few times. It, it's I don't want to say it's a negative carpet bag. Fuller carpet bags tend to do that. Not really negative, not really a knock. It's just part of the design of the bag. The other thing I had is I had more bags than probably I should have had hanging on the side of the hole. These bags aren't fully broken, some of that may go away, but I think it has more to do with the fill. That flat disc fill, in my experience, tends to hang more. Isn't It tends to want to settle and just set. It doesn't want to keep moving and dripping as much as a bead fill or a mix fill would do. So be aware of that. Now, being this fuller bags and being so collectible, when they were hanging, they weren't that hard to, to, to bring in. Another bag coming, they would usually hit them and pull them in. The, the issue I had is when the bag was on the back, a little tougher to get, or even on the opposite side, I had to sometimes try to come across. I don't, you know, and... I, I couldn't throw cuts because of the wind, so I really couldn't challenge them too much, but it's there. Now, this material is definitely controllable. I, I throw it enough. You can throw cuts with this. You can shape shots with it. The fullness of the bag, I think, will make it a pretty decent roll and flop bag. It's not a very bouncy bag, so if you're if you're if you're an above average roller flop bag throw, you have no problem with it. If you're below average, probably not the best bag to do. You probably want a little bit more of a bouncier fill to start out to learn to throw those rolls and flops. But I think it's a bag that will be rollable, floppable, cuttable. You can shape all kinds of shots with it and have success with that. So that's definitely an option. I think it's out there. So there's a lot you can do with this bag. It's a great blind draw bag because it's very versatile. So you know, you know who you partner up with. If one of you wants to throw fast bags, and one of you wants to throw slow bags, great option to pull out. And, and and compromise between two of you. The, the big difference, and I'll say, I'm sure a lot of people were asked about, well, which one of these bags is better? And honestly, it just depends on the fast side you're looking for and how full of a bag you want, how big of a bag you want. Those are the, the, the template sizes, the fast side materials right now are the big difference. And even the fill is the big difference across the board of the different type of bags. And that, that I think that'll help you make your decision on which bags you want to get if you're looking to get one of these clone carpet type bags. Now, availability, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the, these bags, I'm I'm releasing this video on Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. The bags supposed to drop Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. So I want to get this out there just so you had an idea of whether or not you wanted to go for these bags. I don't know what time they're released. You want to make sure you follow Black Sheep's social media accounts to know the time because I'm sure they're going to sell out pretty quickly. And when they do release, you want to make sure you're on their website. They do have a website. I think it's blacksheepbaggers.com. I'll double check. Put a link in the description for that. You want to be on the website at the time they release so that you make sure you get a set if you want a set. 
There are at the pre-release they were eighty nine ninety nine was the price on them. Plus, there's eleven dollars for shipping on top of that. So you're looking at right at about hundred bucks for that. Now there are plenty of sales drugs out there that have discount codes, give you ten percent off. Jump on the, on the social media, jump on Facebook, and you do a search. You can probably find them. There's a ton of Facebook fan groups out there. Most of the sales reps have their own fan group. You can probably find one of those and get it and get a discount code for Black Sheep Baggers for that. Oh, and all like the Costello X. Go check them out. I thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching.